Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with the fellow Ecuadorians, with people that is involved in the common uh, uh, fight, in the, in, the, in the struggle to, to get, uh, uh, to, to uh, look for the conservation of this uh, beautiful island, the Galapagos Islands, which is, as you know, uh, world heritage, world natural heritage. And uh, as a representative of the government of Ecuador, I just want to, to express that the, the government of President Moreno is fully committed to do its part, part of the government in the preservation of, of the Galapagos Islands. It's not an easy uh, task. As you know, we have to solve many problems in the way. First of all, we have a, a local population, even if it uh, only um, is present in, in, in about 3% of the total um, uh, territory of the islands, they still have a very important impact on the islands, on the environment. And, uh, but it's not only the only factor that is uh, present over there. You, you, know, you have also the um, tourism. Uh, we want to look for uh, this important source of income for the people, or for, for the country as well but to, to develop a, a, a tourism that is uh, really um, in line with the priorities of uh, conservation in, of, the, of the islands. A sustainable tourism, in fact, is one of the main goals that we have to develop in the way. And certainly, uh, as you well know, um, the Galapagos Islands are a very uh, fragile environment. Uh, we are really as a government, um, looking forward to, to develop many uh, initiatives uh, in order to, to prevent the deterioration of that environment. It's not only what's going to happen in the islands, it's very important as well what's going to happen in the ocean, in the seas surrounding the islands. And uh, from that way, we've had heard about the problem with, with the plastic waste how this is a challenge, and not only to uh, the Ecuadorian coastal region, but also in particular to the Galapagos Islands. And we also have the problem of illegal fishing, another headache for the Ecuadorian authorities, for the Ecuadorian government, of course, for the, for the country in general. Uh, well, I can continue uh, elaborating with regard to the different uh, uh, tasks, with the different challenges we, we have to, to face with regard to the Galapagos Islands. I'm not an expert on the matter, but certainly my, my purpose here is to make a point in the sense of the, of the uh, fully and total um, uh, commitment of the government of Ecuador to do its part, as I said. And uh, the president of the uh, government of Galapagos, or the consular of Galapagos, uh, uh, Norman Wright, I, I know him from years now. and. Uh, I have to, to, to really recognize that he's a, a person fully, fully committed as well to the uh, preservation of the islands. He knows very well Galapagos. He has lived in Galapagos for, for many years, so he knows directly, very closely, about the, the different uh, uh, problematic, the, the situation uh, that is uh, happening in the islands. Once again, thank you so much for being here. I'm pretty sure that we'll, we're going to, to uh, have a, a very interesting exchange. I'm pretty sure as well that uh, this uh, United Nations uh, uh, headquarters setting is the best one to deal with this issue. The Galapagos Islands are part, the, part of the Ecuadorian national territory, of course. But as I said before, they are also a world a natural heritage. It belongs to the, to the world. It belongs to the people around the world. So a commitment to, 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 to care about the islands, to to uh, uh, preserve for future generations, uh, generations is not only a commitment that involves the Ecuadorian people and government, but we believe certainly that with the cooperation of the of the world, with other nations, organizations that very, are very much involved uh, as uh, the, the World Wildlife Foundation, we can do uh, be, the, our best and, 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 and work in the right direction to achieve the goals that I believe uh, all, all of us are, are sharing on this matter. So thank you so much for the presentation, Ambassador Gallegos, and thanks once again for, for you being here and for the uh, fruitful exchange that I'm sure we are going to, to have in, in following this, this, this introductory words. Thank you.